the top five highest paying finance jobs, finance career paths that can lead you to seven figure salaries. That's what this video is all about. That's what I'm gonna be talking about. It's gonna be a really quick one. I'm gonna get right into it. Everybody knows that finance can lead to incredibly high paying careers. It's also pretty stressful. Typically, you're gonna be working at least 60 hours a week. If you're in investment banking, it might be more like 100 hours a week. But what are the career paths that lead to the highest salaries. A lot of the time you're not going to be able to look this stuff up easily online because there's not that many people who self-report the data. But I did all the work for you so let's jump right into it now. If you appreciate this type of video go ahead gently tap that like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, etc. that you have on the video and don't forget to share it as well. All right coming in at number five on the list is going to be an investment banking managing director. And by the way in finance you have these different terminologies for different sectors, I guess you could call them that you could go into. You have sell side versus buy side. Typically, you want to go on the buy side because that's where the highest paying jobs are. So mutual funds, hedge funds, uh, private equity and venture capital, that is typically gonna be where you're gonna see those incredibly high paying jobs that are so sought after. Now, managing directors are typically gonna work in investment banking, so they are gonna be working very long hours, at least 80 hours a week. Some people even report up to 120, right? So this is gonna be for A-type personalities, competitive, ambitious type people. And really every single one on this list is is gonna be for that type of person. Now, managing directors make about 350,000 to 600,000 a year in base pay. However, the bonus can range from 100 to 200% of your base. That typically means they make 700,000 to $1.8 million in total compensation. So yeah, really, really high paying job. Now, by the way, if you're not sure what type of career path you want to go down, I basically created a six step guide that, you know, I usually charge people to basically do these same exact steps in my consultations. So I decided to just create a guide that you guys can go through step by step to do it yourself. And this is gonna help you figure out what the best possible career path for you is. And that's gonna be available for free down in the description and I'll also put it in the pinned comment. On top of that, you will get a newsletter for me where I will be sharing exclusive content. Number four on the list is going to be venture capitalists. Now venture capital is where you tend to invest in high risk companies and high risk projects early on in their life cycle, right? So you might invest in 100 different companies to find that one Uber, Amazon, Apple, et cetera. And a successful venture capitalist at a top tier firm can make 10 to 20 million dollars a year. Number three on the list is going to be a high ranking executive in finance. So something like a vice president or a chief financial officer. Now this one can vary greatly. If you're with a tiny company, you might make a couple hundred thousand dollars a year. If you're with a big company, you might make tens of millions of dollars. So for instance, Jeffrey C. Campbell, who is the CFO and executive vice president of American Express, makes about $13 million a year. Next one on the list, number two is going to be a hedge fund manager. Now the typical average hedge fund manager actually makes $2.4 million a year. And those tend to be at tiny hedge funds. But one of the top hedge fund earners last year was Izzy Englander, and he made $3.8 billion. Absolutely insane. And there's really only one career where you can do better than that. And that is, of course, a CEO or entrepreneur. So again, this one is going to vary greatly. The average CEO tends to make somewhere around $200,000, $250,000 a year. However, last year, Elon Elon Musk went from a net worth of about 26 billion all the way to 130 something billion. So he literally made a hundred billion dollars in total compensation or total increase in his net worth in one year. <laughs> So there's no other career out there where you can have a $100 billion year. That's absolutely ridiculous. And that is why CEO is, of course, number one. Check this video out right here. I made it just for you. Go ahead, gently tap that like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, etc. Drop on this video, and I will see you next time.